One of those hoping to become the next governor of Edo State is the current deputy governor, Philip Shaibu. He's hoping to clinch the PDP's governorship ticket later this year, but there's controversy surrounding his bid as he's from Edo North. Shaibu addressed uh, this controversy on the morning show earlier today. So, of, uh, well, I'm from Edo, uh, I mean, Edo North, Eshimol is clean and everything. I think it's just an imagination of uh, the governor and his team, and they are pushing it just to have his partner to be the governor of Edo State, and that will not work. The people on ground, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a street person, and when I mean I'm a street person, I'm a really street person. When you go deep down to check the feelings of the people, they need somebody that they know, somebody they can touch, somebody that's with them. And if I must use the governors and his team word, they need somebody that is with them in the pepper soup joint. And, but uh, they are now struggling to be in the pepper soup joint, and they cannot be there. And the, the pepper soup joint thing is that somebody that they can see, somebody they can feel. And I represent that person that they can feel. And that's why those people are yearning for now. Edo people don't want to experiment again. And one thing we should know, Edo election, we have midterm election. Any governor that is coming in have the first one year and the third year to work. Because if you don't start your program from the one, as you are going to the second year, you are preparing for na national election. And as the national election is over, you are preparing for either your second term or for another governorship election. So I do still don't have time to experiment. We've experimented with Governor Godwin Obaseki, and some of us have to go extra mile to cover the gaps. People are saying Shaibu is one popular deputy governor. I only have two portfolios in government, but I have to be filling the gaps because I am close to the people and know what they feel. And so, so coming in from Esako, from Uzari, uh, Shomali is from Ward 10 and from uh, Ward uh, 11. It's not the real issue. The real issue is what, am I, what value am I bringing in? And if we want to talk about zoning and agenda, the real agenda is that Edo not has never been uh, uh, given ticket to contest for governorship of Edo State by the People's Democratic Party. And so when we go into the equity and fairness that the governor is sponsoring, that, that equity and fairness seems to favor PDP giving the ticket to Philip Shaibu. There are two of us that have come out from a donut, Philip Shaibu and Ambassador Balogo. Ambassador Balogo is from Mesaco East and from Mesaco West. Nobody has come out from Mesa, uh, Onwa West, Onwa East, or Akukwedu. So you can't force people to come and contest an election when they are not interested. So if any other person have come, come out from the other zone, of course, we are, the people will choose who they want. But I can tell you that the governorship of Edo State next year will not want an outsider. And the governor is trying to bring an outsider. And we, we will resist it. My, being, my contesting this election is not because just for the fluke. The people are interested in it, and that is why anywhere I go, you can see the organic support. It's, my support is not procured. Just the way the governor is using taxpayers' money to procure support for, for his uh, right. candidate. Right, we're joined now in the studio by a rise analyst, Mahmoud Jega, who is the first time we're seeing this year. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. It's not exactly an old year yet, it is, is it? Not. <laughs> yes, okay. Happy New Year to you. Thank you very okay, much. so you just listened to the deputy governor there, yeah. uh, Philip Shoaibu, saying, look, zoning is really not the issue. It's what yeah. I'm bringing to bear. But is it? Is zoning really not an issue in the Edo uh, governorship election coming up in September? Throughout this country, at every level, zoning is an issue. But the complexity is this. You see, the zoning is not law. It's not in the Constitution, it's not in the Electoral Act, it's not uh, in any law. However, it is a very strong tradition in Nigerian politics, given our level of uh, political development, 
political parties use it in order to create sense of belonging and to also uh, address crisis and all that. However, uh, Mr. Shaibu raised an important point, which mm. was also raised during the last presidential election. Zoning is done within a political party. Uh -huh. So, like he is saying, uh, when Adams Oshiole grabbed the governorship of Edo State, it was on a different platform, an ACN platform. It was not like PDP zoned the ticket to Edo North. Uh -huh. So, why then should PDP now say, okay, since Oshimole was governor from Edo North, therefore uh, PDP cannot produce a candidate from Edo North? It was not on our platform. Obaseki himself was, of course, elected on the APC ticket. It was just because he... Uh, defected. So this problem comes up. I, you remember during the presidential uh, elections last year, Atiku Abakar used the same uh, uh, argument that why should you say because Buhari has served eight years, then uh, nobody from the north should uh, contest. It's a different uh, thing. Let APC zone to the south if they want, but within our own party, you know, we we, we can. So it's a complicated uh, <laughs> argument that is neither here. No, they are. But uh, the important thing for a political party, of course, is to work out strategies that will help it to win an election. That's and the if, most important mm -hmm. thing. Uh -huh. And if zoning will do it, why not? Well, that is true. You well, it looks zoning. like both parties are saying, look, we're not zoning this time around. In Edo State, you mean? Yeah, in Edo State. Well, because, uh, you know, uh, you, you can hardly stop people from uh, contesting. Because uh, if you now, for example, Shaibu submits his form in PDP, if you just throw it out without any farm basis, he could go to court, and it could cause problem for the mm. for the for the for the party. So it it has to be done in a convincing manner. And uh, you know, when you look at it, uh, you wonder sometimes why is Obaseki going to this length. You know, in order to have a candidate that he endorsed. After all, Adam Soshunwale went out of his way, did everything, and made Obasiki the governor of Edo say, and look at how it all Turned ended up. up. So, why is he determined to do the same thing this time around? I, personally, I was just wondering <laughs> that this thing is all futile. <laughs> I'm just careful not to double into this. So I'd like to leave this with you and Ngozi because yeah. it's, it's quite an interesting perspective. Yeah. Because if you look at it either way, mm. uh, there are a lot of dynamics oh, in yeah. this. Uh, oh, yes, uh, there's the tribe dynamics, there's the region dynamics. Because even when you talk about Edo North, yeah. the tribes differ as you move from one part of that same North no, to the well, other. Uh -huh. You heard him when he said uh, the people from yeah, Onwan, they, are, they have not even <laughs> indicated interest. He said so. And, but again, let's talk about, uh, I'll choose to talk about his own camp. Mm. Uh, now it's so evident that he's not uh, happy with the governor yeah, uh, from the way he spoke. Mm -hmm. How will, because ideally we thought that the leadership of a political party or the leader of a political party is usually the governor of the state. Yeah. But it doesn't look like uh, that's what this is uh, from the look of things. Uh, well, uh, the governor's term is coming to an end. And throughout the world, there is this thing called lame duck hmm. situation. Yeah. If your tenure is coming to an end, you are becoming less and less influential because people are already, you know, especially politicians, they are already, okay, who is likely to be this man? He has been governor for seven years, he has finished. Who is likely to be the next one? That's why they will uh, pitch their camp. And especially if the governor does not do it very carefully, he could have a rupture. Uh, in his own political party and that would be like throwing away the election to other uh, political uh, parties so he has to do it uh, very carefully it doesn't look like he's doing that right now so, so from the prism of uh, a, a, a fantastic you know careful uh, political watcher you, you think this election might go to anybody because if you look mm -hmm. at the heavyweights uh, whether it's from the Labour Party mm -hmm. where you have Uluapata or Aswe Hudalu and mm. Philip Shoibu mm. and some and mm. Claire Magba, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that. Yeah, he's not pushover. He's a, a one-time former minister. Yeah. So, but these are names that the Edo people already know, no. and they're coming from different uh, geopolitical zones. Mm. Uh, but the Edo Central that people are trying to sell mm. 
doesn't look like uh, he's getting any kind of traction <laughs> because uh, that, that, that doesn't seem to have a... Uh, yeah, because like the candidate that they said the governor endorsed, I think Godalo, I, I, I don't know. Uh, like why we kept saying that he is an outsider. An yeah. uh, outsider does not mean he's not from Edo State, but he is not in but Edo politics. Politics is really bad. Of course. <laughs> you look at your kinsmen and they call you an outsider. outsider. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody they say, no, he's always been in Lagos yeah. and now, but he's not an Edo person, yeah. he's an outsider. PDP in Edo has to be careful because you are up against APC, which controls the federal government, and there is Labour Party, which won the state uh, in, uh, in the last presidential uh, election. Mm. So it is not by any means guaranteed that because the party controls the state government that they can win the next election they really have to be careful and doesn't look like that right now so what does the party need to do now so they don't lose it uh, any hope for the shuaibu or basaki <laughs> reconciliation yeah it's probably too late, late. too late I mean, right when a deputy mm -hmm. governor goes on air describing his governor as, as an experiment uh, exactly a, a failed well, experiment a failed one at that uh, i think it's well in the government where he was i mean his deputy yeah, the governor beauty. for several yeah, well, several because years. the primary election is uh, is uh, only a few weeks uh, away uh, so uh, and mr Jaga, i want you i, I want you to, to look mm. at this quickly before mm. we go uh, the, the last election uh, the Dark Horse uh, Labour Party mm. uh, pulled a big surprise. Yeah. Uh, over 300,000 votes. That is true. Where you had mm. uh, the ruling party yeah. and the biggest opposition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were all also able to make a big impression in the National Assembly. It's true. So, uh, in the dynamics, I think that in a do state at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, and the it, it can be for anybody. Yeah, although, to be frank, the yes. political dynamics are very different. Mm. You saw what happened to the Labour Party. It came a very close third in the presidential election, and the presidential candidate, uh, Peter Obi, won 12 states outright and the FCT. But two weeks later, in the gubernatorial election, the Labour Party won only one state throughout the country. Mm -hmm. So the dynamics are really different. different. So if you look at that, maybe you might say, well, uh, PDP may not fear the Labour Party too much in Edo State. So you don't but think it has that same momentum that it oh, Obviously, it doesn't really? have if it could yeah. go down from 12 states to one mm -hmm. uh, within yeah. two weeks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mahmoud Jega, Arise News Analyst, mm. thank you so much for joining us. Always a delight yeah. hearing your views.